Hello everyone and a special thank you to Juan in Los Angeles, California. This is FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. I am the hardest working man in the optical industry. My name is Seymour Better but call me Mo. Mo Better because I'm having you seen Mo Better look and Mo Better and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss photo fusion extra gray lenses with the sapphire blue flash mirror for Juan's own Persol. This is, let's see, I know it's got written on the bottom of the box. This is model number 3210S, color 95 slash 31. The 54 eye size is part of its typewriter edition. And it says that on the inside there. I'm not a Persol dealer. That's why Juan mailed me this frame. These are handmade in Italy. These are one of the oldest frame manufacturers still in existence. Really great quality. But Juan mailed me his frame really nice italian leather case of course all persols are going to come with the cleaning cloth and a little card of authenticity with the history of the company um, so if the, you have a persol and you want lenses for it do like juan did you can mail them to me and so i've already taken out the original heavy glass lenses that's what glass sounds like and i'm going to install lightweight unbreakable polycarbonate lenses with his prescription with his higher than average prescription because Juan's just an above average kind of guy. And I actually want to stop. I'm going to do things a little differently in upcoming videos. But I just want to stop and thank Juan for several things. Not just his repeat business. This is number eight. His eighth pair of glasses of lenses in particular. He mails me his frames and I do the lenses for him. But not just that. He sent me glasses for his dad. I've done two pair for his mom. But on a personal note... You know, I'm human. I know you guys place me on a pedestal. I appreciate that. Thank you. You hear me telling a lot of jokes, but there's certain days where life is tough. You know, I have insecurities, um, you know, about what I'm doing, whether I'm going to make it, the direction to go in, all things in life. You know, I have this uh, little tag taped up here on the blocker that I look at every day that says, remember tomorrow. Whenever I have a day that I have any self-doubt <clears throat> or... I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I want to sit down, I want to be with family or do something I enjoy. I just remember tomorrow what I'm trying to build with the frames that I design and then going forward that in other projects but and other things. And I think about this eighth pair of lenses that Juan has gotten from me who believes in me on the days where I don't believe in myself. So this is one of the new things that I want to include. If there is a saying that you have that gets you through every day, leave that in the comment section because all it takes is a little random act of kindness. And there might be someone else who can, can pick up your inspiration and get them through the day. And that should be you know, a, a motto for every year, not just what we've been through in 2020. And now this is day eight of 2021. But it costs nothing to be kind. And if there's something that you have inside that gets you through the day, share that. Um, if I can make you laugh in the day, great. But if you can help someone else get through their day, that's even better. So leave that in the comment section. And for me, it's remember tomorrow. I get caught up on today. And the price of greatness, you know, is due every day. That rent is paid every 24 hours when you wake up and you say, Okay, i got to go after my dream. i just got to go after it. If, if you don't follow your dream, you're going to end up working for someone else who's following theirs. So, everyone out there, it's tough. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it, but I have learned. And I don't want to, you know, I've achieved a certain amount of success, yes. But, where was I going with that? I forgot when I started talking about me. But, um, it does amaze me. There's times I wanted to give up when I forgot about tomorrow. And I just think of all the people who gave up when they were so close to achieving their greatness and I'm not great yet I hope I never am till I'm on my deathbed but in the meantime that's enough seriousness let me let me poke a jab uh, at Jigsaw who's my new website developer his son brought over a pair of Persols that need a cleaning so Jigsaw was going to pop out the original glass lenses of his son's frame to clean them and the son was like you can do that without breaking them Jigsaw was like yeah sure he had all the self-confidence went to go pop the lens out boom broke the frame so with that in mind, I used a ton of heat to get the original glass lenses out because that's when I will use heat to do that. It makes the plastic more pliable. And uh, just to let JJ know, he's great at other things, but there's things that he needs to improve upon. But JJ, 
remember tomorrow. And the other thing I keep telling him, the beauty is in the rewrite. He wants everything to be perfect before it launches. And I just tell him, hey, just get it out there. We can redo it. The beauty is in the rewrite. You learn a lot about yourself as you rediscover and go through life. And that's what the rewrite is. So Juan, I know you've been waiting for your glasses. Can I just go ahead and start making your glasses so I get these shipped in? Juan's like, hey, hey, uh, get back to work. Let's talk more work. So I'm going to program this shape into the computer. So years from now, should he ever new lenses? I don't have to, he doesn't have to mail me these frames. I can pull up the shape in the computer, the computer's database. The tracer's going around tracing the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear, single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipts have my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings out flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for your purchase by asking me to submit a itemized receipt that I can mail to you. You submit that to your insurance company if you're out of network reimbursement or if you have health savings account flex cards. And actually, thanks to Jigsaw, my website guy, I don't know why I'm shaking that. Jigsaw, where I'm going to point at something here for you. My website guy. <coughs> there, the computer screen. That's what I'll point to. Um, he may have set up my website that I can now take pay, uh, PayPal will now accept the health savings account flex cards. <coughs> Look at it, I'm talking until I choke myself up. But uh, Jigsaw gets me all choked up. But yeah, we, I used to have to take the flex cards over the phone, but we may be set up now. We have not done it yet. Who, who has a flex card who wants to buy something? Be the first. Be the guinea pig. Lead by example. And can I say buy the most expensive thing on the website to lead by example? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You can buy the cheapest thing. Just test it out for me. If anyone does have a flex card, let me know you want to make a purchase and I'll refund the amount. I just want to see if it works. So I need to enter the pupillary distance, which is 62.5. Well, actually, I need to move on to the first next screen now. 62 divided by 5 is 31 and a quarter. Unfortunately, I don't get quarters on here. I can do 31. I'm going to tap the minus button until we get there. I do want to raise the optical center height up to, let's do 26.5 on this one. I'm going to go 2.5 above the center, and it's going to be 26.5. Now, well, let's get your lenses prepped. Here's the right lens, the Zeiss Single Vision Photo Fusion Polycarbonate Extra Active Gray with the DuraVision Mirror Flash Sapphire, which is their code for Blue Flash Mirror. Now, I need to start putting the correct terminology on things for the website. So when people go and order from the new website, now I offer Essilor and I offer Zeiss. Z uh, Essilor calls, calls theirs the Blue Flash Mirror, Zeiss the Mirror Flash Sapphire. So I guess I need to start calling things by their real name. Speaking of which, if you call a a tail, a leg. How many legs does a dog have? Because calling it that don't make it that. So that's on 66. Your prescription is plus a quarter, minus two and a quarter at 66. Let me put the power drum on zero. We're going to do plus a quarter. Rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view first. Check the astigmatism correction. And I need to rotate this. Because it has the same power on the top and the bottom of the lens. But it's been decentered, so it's pupillary. The as PD is going to sit right there, the optical centers, and it was too far out, so I know that the lens was upside down. Speaking of the upside down, has anyone ever watched Stranger Things? Those two directors are from my hometown. A lot of the stuff on that series is named with stuff from yeah, as we say in the dirty D. I'm going to put an R on here for right. And I always highlight the packs and you're going to get the manufacturer original packaging. The reason why I write on here, so you will see from the video exactly when you open the package what you're going to get. And of course the prescription is written right there. And I'm even going to put the base curve of the lens, which to me is important. The curvature of the lens should match the frame. A lot of people would just pick any old lens and put it in a frame. I ain't going to do that. Let me repeat myself. Uh-uh. <laughs> so. Okay. Put the power drum on 104, the axis for his left eye. Take the lens out of the packet. 
and it looks like a blue anti-glare coating. It almost looks like Duravision Platinum or Crizol Sapphire while it's indoors. That blue flash mirror, really good cosmetic look. Put the power drum on that. And again, I got the lens upside down. I had a 50-50 chance and I still couldn't do it. But that's okay. That'll still get me in the Baseball Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame batting 500. Remember 50-50. That means it works 100% half the time. <laughs> Alright, yes, I'm just being silly. Alright, let me put uh, three dots on here. For half the time, it works every time. Alright, put an L on there. Let me highlight the power of the left lens on the base curve. And of course that one's marked right, this one is marked L for left. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. Yeah, see I don't tell that joke in my in my uh five minute videos. This is my first full length video after a while. So this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it's cutting. I have two double-sided adhesive stickers here. I'm going to pull these away. The black side is the sticky side. Stick this one onto the first block. Do the same thing now on the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet here in the arm. And the reason why I put those dots on there, it tells me that the lens is oriented in there just perfectly. That blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that and in set. Now his pupillary distance is 62.5. I programmed the machine at, again, I can't do 31 and a quarter, so I just have it at 31. I'm just checking to make sure the lens is large enough. There's a little, if you can see those orange crosshairs, there's a black dot in the center. I'm going to move that black dot over a quarter millimeter on each lens, both lenses, the 50-50 lenses. Hit that button, the arm's going to come down, place the block onto the right lens. I'm going to do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Put the lens on there, same pupillary distance, same optical center height. Still want to check to make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. And move that over just a little bit, going that direction stretching the PD. Hit that button, the arm's going to come down, place the block onto the left lens. So, this is the tracer, this is the blocker, this is what's known as the edger. It weighs 200 pounds, it costs $40,000. I recommend everyone go out, get their own, put it on your hoverboard, and then you can cut your own lenses at home while you're hovering around. You won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do them for you, and especially with the smashed thumbnail, but it's growing out. I strongly recommend nobody close a sliding glass door this way <laughs> on a cold day and then slam your thumb into the side. I'm not going to lie, it hurt. <laughs> I squealed. <laughs> I may have shed a tear or two. I'm just kidding. It was about three to four hundred, five hundred tears that came pouring out of my eyeballs. Squirting like that. Uh, uh. So, all right, so. Where was I at? Oh, I gotta wake up the... So this is the cutting wheel. This is... I've been so long since I've done one of these, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This is the diamond crusted wheel that's gonna grind away your lens material till it's the final size. This wheel in the center. There's that V-shaped bevel. It's gonna put the V-shaped bevel of the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now I'm gonna wake up the computer. It is job ID number 3394. Get down here. 3394, as I like to say, installment 3,394 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So I'm at 0.01 of the way there. So these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that material. I'm not going to, but I'm going to stick with polycarbonate because that's my lens material of choice. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the edge of the lens. But I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. So let's go ahead and grab the right lens with an Aura on it. I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly. Place the magnet into the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles. Because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. I'm going to hit the green start button. The door closes. The mostly clear door 
secret agent 2840 it's pretty clean you got to give me that so the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the right side of the frame measuring the thickness of the lens on the second go around to make sure where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which you will have none but i do cut very strong prescriptions all day long for how much for quanto for free for gratis by the way i'm learning spanish and uh i'm learning how impatient i am too but the water you see flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust polycarbonate lenses cut dry meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while they are cutting unlike plastic high-end plastic and trivex they cut wet meaning the water sprays onto the lens to wash away that optical debris that you see beginning to go around your lenses now water will spray onto these lenses but just to wash that off in the last 20 seconds now polycarbonate is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic they're virtually unbreakable these are high impact ballistics grade lens material can you see that psychedelic effect of the print that's your astigmatism these are ballistics grade lens material the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris it has 100 percent uva and uvb protection built into the lens we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes unlike the lotions creams and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied you got sunglass level uv protection in a clear lens and speaking of protection the photofusion extra gray from zeiss has the most complete amount of protection it has 50 to 70 percent blue light protection it has duravision sun their premium back surface polarized sunglass anti-glare on the back surface of the lens it's got the flash blue mirror on the front the flash sapphire on the front the extra active all the way through the blue light protection all the way through the anti-glare on the back surface of the lens so that's that so out comes the little safety bevel wheel it's gonna essentially be a very fine sandpaper to smooth out the back surface of the lens I do that for every lens because if it were too large when I go to pop the lens into the frame if it were too large I don't want any rough edges to come in contact with the frame as I'm pushing it in otherwise scratching or marring the finish of the frame I want to protect Juan's investment So, as I said, I'm learning Spanish. Here, let me see if this fits. I'm going to tuck this in at the outside corner. Rounds are, rounder frames are always harder because it wants to squirm. A rectangle will hold it in place, but these are just squirming. Nope, not even close. I'm going to take it down two-tenths of a millimeter, and it may not be enough. I'm going to put it in and hit retouch. Now, my New Year's resolutions, in fact, hey, if anyone out there at this point in the video is listening, if you haven't gone to sleep yet, tell me what your New Year's resolutions are in the comments section. But for me, I'm getting up two hours early. I wanted to learn Spanish, I wanted to exercise, and I wanted to learn some things about the new website, so I've combined the two, so I don't have to get up three hours early. I have an hour of personal growth in that hour. I start off stretching, exercising, and starting to lift weights while I have some YouTube videos playing so I can learn Spanish. I'm getting up to the verbs now, and I'm not happy about that. So, I think Juan may have mastered the Spanish language. I'm just guessing. I'm bad at Spanish, said no Juan ever. <laughs> okay, so... Um, so the second hour, I'm doing professional growth. I'm learning as much as I can about SEO for YouTube, for the website, learning how to blog. I'll be doing that every week, not just for this website, but for the Christian eyewear brand, which is the reason why I'm doing it. I have my own brand I'm coming up with. That I have more and more frames coming. This one happens to be Philippians 4.13, which is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And these are, again, Christian eyewear designed in USA by me. But you can get a silver or gold 
cross on and they all come with a polarized magnetic clip on that if I was prepared eh, I'm not prepared um, would snap onto the front of the frame but you can see more of this by going to Christian eyewear and looking up Philippians 413 on the shop page and coming soon I will have these in more colors and more sizes all with clip-ons let me just make sure all the optical sawdust is off of the lens so I've got some New Year's resolutions share yours in the comment section below and also be kind to everyone today is January 8th Friday two days ago was Wednesday the 6th there was a lot of sadness in this country for many reasons on that day all right I'm gonna take it down some more and I think things have got out of control for a while there was a lot of divisiveness in this country whether right or wrong half this country hates each other and I think it just reached a boiling point I try and find the good in every situation and even though five people died and there was all sorts of mayhem at the Capitol we are a crisis driven nation Congress and the Senate usually doesn't get things passed until the 11th hour in a way we're almost like that as a people when little baby Jessica falls in the well it doesn't matter if you're white black Latino Asian rich poor educated illiterate average it doesn't matter right-handed left-handed fans of one basketball or football team fans of another we all come together to rescue little baby Jessica which is democracy which is a civilized community which is your neighbors your family we all need to just put some things aside and remember what's important to us the love for one of a one of a one another love thy neighbor that's what I was trying to say do unto others as you would have them do unto you that should not be so complicated so confusing it should be fairly simple love your neighbor and everyone in this country whether you like it or not is your neighbor if they're there Juan's in California I'm in North Carolina I love every him, him and everyone in between so again I'm gonna tuck it in the outside corner try and go around pushing it in hey it finally goes in what do you know flip this over to L which is Latin for not right place the magnet into the Chuck the Charles the Chucky baby the wand or today I'm calling it the little baby Jessica <laughs> little baby Jesus <laughs> Dear baby Jesus. Um, God, I love some stupid movies. All right, so in the comment section, tell me what your stupidest movie that you like that you get criticized for for watching. For me, it's Land of the Lost with Will Ferrell and those guys. I watched it with my wife. I sit at the, this is our couch, the TV's over here. I sit on the left hand side of the couch. My wife sits on the right side. At the end of the movie, I look over. She's boop, boop, I'm backing into stuff. She's balled up on the couch with her arms wrapped around her, saying that it's two hours of my life I will never get back. And I damn near peed on myself in that movie, but I like bad humor. And I was just telling you, you don't know how hard it is to write a bad joke. It's easy to write a good joke. Do you know how hard it is to write a bad joke? And there's a lot of bad jokes in that movie. <laughs> My wife and I just don't have the same taste in movies. Now, the only Will Ferrell movie she likes, the other guys are, what's that one with the father with Mark Wahlberg? You know, for some reason, she doesn't seem to mind uh, any of the Mark Wahlberg movies that Will Ferrell is in. There's just something about, ah, I wiped off the PD. I was trying to dry the water off without doing that. There's something about Mark Wahlberg that she, uh, she doesn't mind watching. Especially the movies where he takes his shirt off. I don't think I understand why, but she might be able to explain it to me. Okay, so here's a cool thing. When I'm looking in there, there's three lines that I'm looking for that are supposed to be straight. Right now, they're a little tilted. Actually, one would be this way. So, I need to rotate the lens. And from experience, I'm okay with this. 
until it lines up straight. Actually, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go this way. Let's do one better yet. I'm going to take the lens out. And since I need to go downward with it, I'm going to reposition it that way. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. That's better. Get everything clamped on there. So I'm at 66. I'm reading the power of plus a quarter into the black plus signs, not the red minus. We're about to get to the red minus. So we're at plus a quarter. Juan's prescription reads plus a quarter minus two and a quarter at 066. He has the smallest amount of far-sighted correction you can have one step now he has nine steps of astigmatism or as I like to call them crazy stigs especially for the left eye the average is about two so he's just above average there and he's above average in a lot of ways generosity kindness referrals coming back to me he's never tired of my bad jokes actually Juan, I think you need to start seeking treatment for that if you like watching my videos there might be something wrong with you <laughs> My wife won't even watch my video. She gets enough of me in real life. You expect her to hit the rewind button and watch more of it? So, there's plus a quarter. I'm going to check the astigmatism correction. And we end up at minus two. I thought you just said it was minus two and a quarter. That's because on the numerical wheel, we started out with a plus a quarter. We subtract two and a quarter from that, and we end up at minus two. Imagine you had a quarter and you owed someone $2.25 you would be two dollars in the red and that's where we're at now the left eye you have three steps of far-sighted correction and then a three full diopter so if all goes well we'll end up at two and a quarter finally but we're going to turn that to 104 a straight line is zero to 90 to 180 so for the right eye we're going to turn it to about the fine tune knob to 66 we're going to turn the left eye to about 104 uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters p and f think of it as the fine tune knob and we're just turning that fine tune knob turn that kindness knob everybody ratchet it up I know I'm full of corny expressions but if whatever it hang on I can, I can do this okay 60 seconds in a minute times 60 minutes times 24 hours 86,400 seconds in an uh, in a day if someone robs you of of joy out of 10 seconds don't let that bother you i know everyone else does it better than me especially that's what my wife says <laughs> no, okay <laughs> yeah. wait we're talking about uh, analogies that yeah that's what we're talking about come on stay focused um let's see if this fits in there so if if someone comes along and ruins 10 seconds of that day for you don't you know let it go don't be angry back at them just move on you can't uh, let a nickel get in the way of a dollar so you're the dollar that's the analogy don't let a nickel or a penny ruin your day for you so let me turn that to 104 check the power Ooh, I nailed it that time where's my flashlight we're at plus 75 see plus 75 going away from zero towards one Let's check the second meridian, the minus three. Finally, we end up at minus two and a quarter. Now, I need to check your pupillary distance of 62.5, optical center height of 26.5. I forgot to put the PD on the right eye. Ah. See, I told you guys I'm not perfect. Although, my wife will never believe you. She thinks I'm perfect. Coming up on 15 years married, and we've never had one argument. How's that? That says more about her than it does me. Um, but she never loses her, her cool with me. I know it sounds corny, but she really is my soulmate. I'm so blessed to be able to have someone like her in my life. I never would have gotten as far as I am today without her. So, come on, paperclip. Hold that number on there. The reason why it's just a paperclip, the permanent cards are gray color. Same thing, that's how I tell them apart. I'm going to peel this off. There's a backing on here. I'm going to peel this off and put this onto your permanent card in this corner. It's just that has the permanent card has your name, address, phone number, credit card number, blood type. I just don't want to put it on here, but if you, if you look in the description below, I'll put all of Juan's personal information down there. <laughs> 
or this will be the time to blackmail Juan. Juan, if you don't want me to put it there, put put a lump sum of cash in a paper bag, put it underneath the bench at the park, I'll come by and get it. All right, so his PD is 62.5. Turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb on the right lens. When we measure against the left, we're getting 62.5. Now the optical center height of 26.5, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the deepest part of the frame in the middle of the plastic. And we're getting 26.5. So that is cut perfectly. Oh man, the kit is good. Now this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that it's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Los Angeles, California is still in the U.S., so I am told. I've never been there, so I don't know if it really does exist. Actually, no, I have been there. When I was 16, I have an aunt an hour south of there in, in Riverside. So I flew into LAX. And then uh, she came, picked us up, and drove us down there. I went to a Carl's Jr. I don't think I went to a Whataburger. What else? Jack in the Box. No, that's the one I went to. Jack in the Box. Of course, I was in my younger days, and I thought it was good. <laughs> so now I'm a little pickier. Um, let me take that back. I'm the same. Someone with me is a little pickier and doesn't want to eat in a restaurant like that and has to go somewhere nicer, like a Carl's Jr. or a Burger King. No. Um, so, this is, oh, the last thing I want to do is get your lenses in standard alignment, your frames in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, when I take mine off and I press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me because I have one ear lower than the other. In fact, 80% of people do, so if you get these in the mail and these don't fit perfectly, one, I know you've gotten these from before, but there might be people who are seeing this for the first time. 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them, so if you get a pair of glasses from me or anywhere else, just go by a local shop and tell them if it's too loose or too tight or high on one side. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment. Flip that over. Make sure there's no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly. And they do. That neither temple is askew like that. Now this is what your lenses look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for the photochromic transition lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute, minute and a half. Now, these will, most photochromic transition lenses will not turn dark in a car. These extra active gray will. They'll also, well, they'll get about 30 to 50 percent dark. They'll also get darker when it's uh, below 85 degrees, but I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody or nothing works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. But again, having said that, these extra gray lenses will get darker in hotter weather. Now, you can see the blue flash mirror. Now, when you look out, you will see the gray. When people look at you, they will see that blue flash mirror. And Zeiss, in my opinion, I started with Essilor, but Essilor only uses one lab, and that's called iCoat. They're in California, and during COVID, they were shut down for two and a half, maybe three months. I didn't realize that Zeiss made them, so I switched over. Not only that, you will see my early videos where I'm really moving it around so you can see the mirror. Zeiss has the most complete mirror on there. I can see myself with the GoPro on my head. I couldn't do that with the Essilor lenses. So that's another really nice thing. Zeiss does all of their mirror coatings in-house. That's why I can get these done so much faster. And they're not shut down for months. And it's a better mirror. And you actually get the package showing you what you got with your prescription on there. That's why I highlight that. I love the documentation that Zeiss provides. I've never had that before from any lab company that I've ordered from. Essilor, Hoya, Shamir, only Zeiss does that. Another thing I love about Zeiss. So that and they partner with the American Cancer Society because they offer the most complete UV protection. In fact, they are the a leader in precision optics since 1846. It says it right there. You're going to get the Zeiss cleaning cloth. You're going to get my premium microfiber cloth. You've got your Prozol cloth in there. I give instructions and every package on how to clean not only your frame and lenses so they'll last you for years but for your cleaning cloths all three of them and your case so they too will last you for years so do yourself a favor subscribe to my channel so you'll get 
I'll have a slew of videos coming up doing a lot more different videos and to see those you're going to need to subscribe so click the red icon click the bell next so you'll get notified every time there's a new frame and lens combinations I may even be doing some that are even not glasses related but you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram as free prescription lenses on Twitter as free RX lenses if you have any questions go to the contact me page of the website um, there'll be a I'll see if I can't put a link in the description below if you want lenses only for your frame like Juan did there's um, you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below so tell me what saying that you have that gets you through the day when you're not feeling a hundred percent tell me what uh, bad movies that you like that people look at you and like ooh you like that movie put that in the description if it gets us all a laugh hey that's what we're here for enjoy our time and make someone else smile um, no one enjoys a laugh more than I do except for maybe my wife and some of her friends no I'm just kidding that's, a, that's an old Monty Python line but as I keep talking you can see these returning back to virtually clear but yeah thanks again for watching Juan thank you for the purchase for you your eighth pair of lenses you've gotten from me and maybe what seven eight nine months tops um, thank you for the purchase of your dad's glasses you've gotten two pair for your mom any other referrals you send and a special thank you for those days where I don't feel a hundred percent and I don't believe in me but Juan sends me another thing he says hey I've got another couple pair of glasses I want you to do because I have faith in you trust in you with his prescription he's been wearing glasses for a while he's probably got the run around a lot of people charge him more but he comes back to me because he believes in me and you know it's one of those days what is that skip from Saturn Live with Al Franken by golly I'm smart enough I'm good enough I, you know he helps me believe in myself Jack Handy that was the name of the guy so I know I'm rambling on I'm back to doing that um, so thank you for watching and now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses thank you